everyone. My name is Sandy Solomon, and I just want to give you a little bit of a background on myself. I have been in the clinical research industry for about 14 years now in different capacities. My experience ranges from a study site coordinator to a monitor to a study manager, and I do a lot of training and consulting right now. So medical device development, the U.S. versus European differences. Medical device is, as defined by the FDA, is a device as any healthcare product that does not have, does not achieve its principal intended purpose by chemical action or by being metabolized. It could be as simple as a tongue depressor or a thermometer or as complex as a robotic surgery device. These are just some different examples of medical devices, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. So once again, the definition of a device, it's an instrument, apparatus, implement, machine, contraband, implant, in vitro reagent, or other similar or related article, including any component, part, or accessory, which is intended for use in the diagnosis, cure, treatment, or prevention of disease. The device does not achieve its intended purpose through chemical action in the body and is not dependent upon being metabolized to achieve its purpose. How do we get our innovative medical device onto the market? Some common obstacles are the regulatory bars between Europe and the U.S. and the differences between them, such as safety versus safety and efficacy only. And the device may need to be studied clinically first and have some type of valid scientific evidence before it gets approved for market. This is just a, a breakdown, um, kind of like a flow chart that I put together about the basic development pathway. Typically, it's a minimum of two years and a maximum of 10, but the average tends to fall between three to five years by the time a medical device makes it to market. 